friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we're going to do something very, 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 very exciting. I'm going to be putting together an Ikea greenhouse cabinet. <laughs> so for a while I've been like trying to think of the best storage solutions for all of my plants. I have way too many, I mean like <laughs> way too many plants and I always want to have kind of the best solution for the space because I really don't want to absolutely overcrowd it because that wouldn't really be nice to Joe. Sorry. But um, yeah, so I just, I'm constantly trying to figure out the best way to store all my plants. And so I've been seeing quite a lot lately of people who have IKEA like display cabinets and they've converted them into greenhouse cabinets to like give themselves a little nicely decorated home greenhouse, if that makes sense. Very much in part by the IKEA greenhouse Instagram page, which is fantastic. If you want inspiration to build your own IKEA greenhouse, you should definitely check out that Instagram page because it has so much information and so many beautiful setups. And I was just super duper duper inspired by a lot of the greenhouse cabinets on there. And then I watched Mark from Your Babylon's like Ikea cabinet tour and I was like, this is perfect. I need it. Such good inspiration. And so I decided to make one for myself. So you can see there's a little pegboard back there. I've got my massive Ikea cabinet that I need to build with the help of Joe because doing it on my own doesn't sound very fun. So I'm going to be building it for you today and showing you what it's like. So before I actually bought anything, I did a whole bunch of planning because I wanted to make sure that this was actually what I wanted, that it would fit what I wanted in it, just to figure out exactly if I could make it into what I needed. So I made a beautiful page in my notebook where I wrote down like all the things I want in it, like supplies wise, like shelves or fans, grow lights and all that stuff as well as what plants I wanted to put in there, what sizes they were, and then I drew a nice little diagram of exactly what I wanted it to look like. So I did a lot of planning and budgeting because IKEA cabinets are not cheap. I will say they are not cheap, especially this display cabinet. I ended up getting the Millsbow cabinet. I think it was just under 180 pounds. I know, but you know, my plants that are going to go in it need the space and the humidity so I think it's worth it and I get to take you all along with me on the journey so it's fine. Before I start, if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below on like other planty things you'd like me to talk about and subscribe for more. Let's get started. So you see that little nook that Joe's pulling stuff out of? That's the nook that I'm going to be putting the cabinet into <laughs> this is the Millsbow cabinet it's a nice big one there and I have like an entire novel's worth of directions to In order to power the entire thing, I have a smart Wi-Fi little power strip and it's got three plug sockets and four USB sockets. 
It's from a brand called Meros and it's really great because all you do is you have an app and like with the app you can say on living room or on office and like these individual plug sockets you can like set on timers and stuff to go on and off at the right time which is fantastic because I can use it for my grow lights and the humidifier and the fans and all of that so good stuff. So here's now where we kind of veer away from the directions of how to build the cabinet and now I'm gonna sort of kit it out with all the good growing stuff that I want inside of it. Like the pegboards and the fans and stuff like that. It's just easier to do that before the doors go on because once the doors go on, everything just gets a bit harder. So I am going to kit all that out. So. What's going to go in the cabinet is this H2O humidifier and then I've got two of these fans that I'm going to use to circulate the air and two of these hot five fluorescent tube lights that I'm going to attach to the top and the middle shelf. So these are the pegboards that I got. They are the IKEA Skadis, Skadis pegboards and they come with a bunch of different like attachments so I've got some shelves some like drawer things some clips and I'm gonna mount these like one on the top and then one on the bottom under a shelf so they'll be basically like the backboard of this so I can like use up as much space as I can Now I'm just gonna trick it out with all its shelves and stuff and like put plants in I suppose. Let's have a little tour. So this is what it looks like empty with the doors closed. Up here I've got one of the grow lights got a fan that I can angle to different angles if I want but I mean I likely probably want it down and that's just for airflow to make sure that like because they're in a greenhouse essentially the plants aren't going to get as much airflow and you want to prevent fungus and stuff so better to have airflow. Got pegboard with all of these. I can put small plants on the shelf here and then in these drawers I think Mark had it so he just put propagations in here like things that he had in moss and just kind of had it stick out stick out the top but you can also use this bit as a shelf I got some of these clips where if I've got like a light pot I could just clip it in there and then I've got the shelf and then more of this same thing as up, up at the top and then I'm gonna probably gonna have a fan down there and my humidifier is there. And so that's basically gonna be the whole thing empty like that. Good stuff, huh? So now I guess it's time to fill her up, put all the plants that I wanna go in there, in there. So let's do that. I've put everything from my initial list inside of the cabinet. I think I need to think a bit more about exactly how I want each bit to be there, but I'll give you just like a preliminary tour of what I've got in the cabinet. And I'm sure it will go through loads of different variations, but for now, this is what it's gonna be. So let's have a look. Grand pan of the whole thing. So in the top up here, I have an allocation of black velvet, and this is just in soil in one of those little drawers. 
And then on the other side, I've got the allocated dragon scale mini guy I've got in there. And then on the first shelf down, I have one of my Philodendron pink princesses. It's currently not got that much pink in it. You can see in the newest leaf, the only tiny little specks. So I'm hoping being near the grow light will help with that. And then also on that shelf, my Cebu Blue, which is in sphagnum moss and perlite. I might end up putting this in one of the drawers because those work really well for that. But for now, it's on the shelf. And then on like the main counter bit, I have my more highly variegated Monstera, which is doing really well. It's got a nice new leaf there. And then I've got my Philodendron Painted Lady, which is in some Lekka back there. And then my typical Alocasia Poly for some height in the top. And then Philodendron White Princess in the corner. Also doing really well. Got a new leaf right there. And then making our way to the bottom, some more dragon scale propagations. So these are in Lekka. And I've just put a bit of water in the bottom as you would in a container. So hopefully that works really well. I'm going to do the same for this normal poly prop that I've got here, but I need to get more Lekka to put in that. So I will do that. I've got a Philodendron Cobra here, which is in moss and perlite, which I need to fill out this little box for. And then on the shelf, a normal Epigramnum Penatum, just like the normal green form. And my Philodendron Silver Sword, the small one on its little baby moss pole, which fits perfectly in here, which I'm really excited about. And then sitting on the shelf, we have three things. We've got my Anthurium Clarinervium, which is doing really well. I'm hoping it likes it in here because it's going to be a bit higher humidity. My second Philodendron Pink Princess, which is not very pink at all. It's pretty much mostly green, so don't know what to do about that. And then my Alocasia Fry Deck, which is a bit sprawling out at the minute. I'm going to have to figure out how to close this door properly with a minute. I think because the grow lights it's been by have been kind of below it. It'll need some time to adjust to having grow lights above it instead. But yeah, I've filled the cabinet nicely, I think. That is the start of my cabinetto. So that's it. That was me building my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. I look forward to figuring out exactly what I need to put all the plants in and get it arranged exactly how I want it. It's just a bit of a preliminary arrangement, but I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this cabinet, go follow me over on Instagram and I'll be posting all about it, I'm sure. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up down below and comment on other houseplant things that you'd like to see me do next and then subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!